Let's bring in Jennifer Coffin-Daffer, former FBI special agent. Jennifer, I hate these stories. They're so disturbing. Uh, but he stopped, he grabbed her, threw her in the vehicle. How are they going to catch this guy? I mean, they already caught him. How did they catch this guy? Well, they did a fabulous job of jumping on this case early. Thankfully, there was footage of the actual incident, which gave them a partial license, a very unique license that they could go off of, as well as dents on the car that they were able to match up and led them to this arrest. And as Kelsey mentioned, this is not the first time that this man has been in trouble for a kidnapping. What do we know about the previous case? This, this is crucial to me. The other person that was attacked was an attorney. His last name was Durand. And he was actually worked in the same law firm as Fletcher's uncle. Now, I don't believe in coincidence, and this makes me believe this wasn't completely random. So you think that because the previous kidnapping wasn't random, that this particular case involving this young woman, this mother, is not random either, that potentially he knew something about her? Exactly. And I do want to also bring forth that she had a very uh, specialized routine every morning. She got up in the morning and she jogged at such an early morning hour of 4.30. So I would just tell women who have similar routines, change up your route, be aware of your surroundings, run against traffic, have that pepper spray ready in your hand so that you can be ready to thwart an attack such as this. Right, and so that there would be some witnesses when you say run against traffic if something were to be amiss. Uh, the suspect not cooperating with investigators or telling them anything about where uh, this woman is, but is there enough evidence to charge him with a crime just with what was found in and around that vehicle? Oh, I believe so. With the vehicle, as well as the blood, the DNA, there was DNA uh, found on uh, the shoes that were left at the scene, the, the uh, champion slippers, and those matched up to Cleotha Abstin. So with that information, as well as the information maintained in the affidavit that he was cleaning, uh, that he was uh, washing himself off, all of that leads to probable cause for an arrest. Do you think that it's unique that they actually wanted to collect the family vehicle, the garden shears at her property and th that computer? Well, I think it's very important that they look at all aspects of this situation, particularly the computer and any forensics that could possibly lead to how she was targeted. Again, there's this connection between the original subject of the first kidnapping of Mr. Abstin and the second because the uncle worked at the same law firm as the first subject or first victim. And this is no coincidence I don't think law enforcement will find. Jennifer Coffin-Daffer, thank you very much uh, for being with us. We certainly hope that there's some closure for this family here very soon. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.